not you, it's me, you see. Everything has its communities, and Life is Strange is no exception. This game has, surprisingly, a very polite community, which isn't what I expected after my experiences with the Undertale and the My Hero Academia fandoms. And today, we will be focusing on two prominent cosplayers of the Life is Strange fandom. Hello, my name is Speakeasy, and today we will be looking at the rise and sudden disappearance of cosplay couple Jesse and Sam. On April 18th of 2017, a YouTube channel by the name of Jesse and Sam was created. In their first video, Jesse and Sam showed off their cosplays for Max Caulfield and Chloe Price, the two main protagonists of the Life is Strange video game. They are cosplaying for Pricefield, a popular ship name for Chloe and Max, and while I am not the biggest fan of shipping characters, I found this channel and the cosplays to be exceptionally well done. On November 26th of 2018, they released their first video that shows Max and Chloe in a state that is, shall we say, not suitable for certain audiences. Thus, the age restriction on this video. This is not uncommon to be seen on their channel, as some of their content is sexual. However, around half of the content that they upload is stories using the Life is Strange characters with music that blends the themes or plots of their videos. For example, their video, Where Are You? tells the story of Chloe looking for Rachel Amber. Another example is the video After the Storm, which tells the story of Max and Chloe after the storm hits Arcadia Bay, and uses the song Welcome Home by Radical Face. Though it can be interpreted in many ways, I see this song as emphasizing the idea that Max has finally found a place that she believes that she can call home. That home is in the arms of Chloe, feeling her love and warm embrace. Personally, I found this channel fascinating and was amazed at the amount of time, effort, and dedication that these fans have put into their interpretation of the game and its characters throughout the videos. However, after further research, there seems to have been more going on behind the scenes. If you are unaware of what the Better Than Project is, I'll have provided a link in the description of this video. I found this video very entertaining due to the talent this crew must have in order to reenact a fan-made story. Interestingly enough, it would seem that they wanted to bring this fanfiction to life through more than just animation. I was able to talk to the head project lead of the Better Than Project, L. During our conversation, they told me that the plan was for Jesse and Sam to partner with the Better Than Project and do a live-action portrayal of their animated fanfiction. Unfortunately, they ended up pulling out of this collaboration due to possible relationship problems. An update video was posted to the Jesse and Sam YouTube channel explaining that they had been having problems in their relationship. However, they ended up privatizing it, and I was unable to find any of the uploads. It turns out that they stopped working with the Better Than Project not just because of this, but also because one of them seemed to have gotten a job or internship at Deck 9. Despite the video's removal, according to the project leader of the Better Than Project, Jesse and Sam seemed deeply troubled and upset with what was going on, and they were on the verge of a possible split. However, almost a month before the collaboration was announced, Jesse and Sam posted a somewhat cryptic tweet about possibly flying someone out to meet up, quote, if it means she gets to be filmed. This can be interpreted as one of two things. Either they're referring to the last video that remains on their channel, or it's a reference to the unreleased Better Than Project video. After looking more into it, an anonymous user in the Life is Strange fans Discord server said that Jesse and Sam had two private videos. In one, they explained that they were having a hard time adjusting to living together in the US and that they were both getting jobs. As I mentioned earlier, one of them had gotten a job at Deck 9, the studio that created Life is Strange before the storm. The other video seemed to highlight that the two had gotten back on track and they had both now had jobs, and their relationship was starting to heal. It would seem as though they decided to take a break from uploading to their channel, although they uploaded one last Q&A. But then, something interesting happened. While I cannot find an exact date, it can be assumed that this all took place a couple of months before their social media was deleted or privatized. While this might seem like a big red flag, I did manage to discover something else during my conversation with Elle. It appears that Jesse and Sam took these videos down so fast that there is no trace of any of them, even on the Wayback Machine. However, 
In a brief comment, L said that Jesse and Sam updated a playlist. This changes what I initially believed. They both have jobs, and if my research is correct, one of those jobs is at Deck 9. The two leading theories that I have are that the two are no longer together, or they are too busy focusing on their jobs to be working on their YouTube channel. I'll propose that the reason behind their sudden disappearance involved their relationship. However, after seeing the comment L made regarding the playlist, it makes me feel like my other theory is just as likely. So, I found the playlist name, and I opened it to discover that it's a bunch of love songs. Presumably, they are songs put together by both Jesse and Sam for each other to listen to. It appears that Jesse and Sam are still together, especially due to the fact that this playlist was only updated yesterday as of writing this script, and possibly even married from some more research I've done and just needed a break from the spotlight, and that is why everything has happened. It, it seems like I and a few others have managed to solve the mystery behind Jesse and Sam. It seems they created their YouTube channel to make some fun cosplay music videos, but got more popular than they thought they would, and thus needed a break from the spotlight. If I had to assume what their plans are for the future, they might return to YouTube at some point, but I cannot accurately determine when, especially due to the fact that in their last video, they said their cameraman Sean moved to Utah. Nevertheless, this has been fun to research, and I'm glad to say that it all ends on a positive note. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.